out in Loam Do. Hope we're doing good. I was fighting the Lord Soulstalk with the Umbrella, getting kind of rolled. I get hit one time, I basically die. And I remembered a comment on YouTube saying, or asking, if I could fight the Lord Soulstalker with Zikanon. And so I did. I was like, you know, that sounds like a better time. This is my first attempt for that day. I've killed it before the cannon, but it took me eight minutes. Eight minutes and 80 seconds last time. So in this case, obviously it's faster. I'm pretty sure the video is not eight minutes long. I might stretch it. Who knows? I think you're supposed to for YouTube. In this case, uh, I had to restart, and I'm not sure why. Oh, there's a reason why I restarted this hunt. There's a reason why I'm including this. It's important. It's to instill the idea or the method, the mechanic. With the cannon, if you're not trying to do some like, you know, technical attack, whatever the TA thing is called in Monster Hunter and now in Wild Hearts for the uh, prestigious hunting of a monster, I don't care about that, like nonsense. If I'm, if I'm using cannon, I'm using traps and I'm using this cheese strap. The cheese strap is hitting a small kimono directly with your mortar strike and then spawning a big missile. Shout out to someone in chat yesterday who told me about this. Because I did it before, but I wasn't quite sure that it was consistent, it was possible, but it's consistent. You just freaking nuke a small kimono when you have full heat gauge. And Bob Gerante, you get a big bane, brother. And when you start these fights, you tend to just start it. You could maybe get full charge, mortar strike, and then beam if you really wanted to. It wouldn't be that big a deal because by the time the mortar strike lands, you would start beaming, and that would just give you more damage. In this case, for some reason, this, this boy's weak spots are kind of hard to hit. I ain't sure what the deal is with that, but I'm actually I'm aiming for the face, trying to hit that, and I did, and luckily I staggered it because I actually tried to roll out there, and one point that I said before in a previous video was, commit a little, bro. If you're beaming the monster, commit. With my cannon build, I usually use a springboard to get a ton of meters, shoot twice, and then I mortar strike. In this case, I'm going to shield wall. That is... Necessito. When that happens, I get the beam, and I can't beam quite yet because I'm in the uh, I'm in the danger field. There will be times where I'm beaming, committing to it, and I'm just trying to break apart to stagger the monster a little bit. And I do have my bot helping me. I've seen some folks that hit me. I've seen some folks not use their bot in these fights. If you're playing cannon, just use it. I've also seen other folks use the bot, and no one cares. I've been watching this dude named 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 Peppo Peepo. Pig, something like that. He's cracked. And I, I really like his thumbnails. Just random tidbit right there. And we missed that. And we dodged, just in case. I don't, I don't think I had to dodge there, but just in case, I wasn't trying to get hit for absolute maximum. And uh, I do run Desperation, by the way. I don't believe I've shown, I've shown the build quite yet. He's going into the trap. No need for a shield wall. In my head, though, I did have a theory that trap wouldn't go off. And when it comes to placing traps like that, you have to be careful because sometimes you'll place it down and the monster will get trapped and you don't have any charge, you don't have any heat gauge for a mortar strike. None of that stuff. I'm not sure how to dodge that properly on my weapons that aren't Umbrella. With Umbrella, I can just parry everything. It's getting awfully close to hitting me whenever I'm doing that. But it, it takes me time to make a shield wall, it's getting awfully close. By the way, I could try and go over the tells of this monster in slow detail. Like, slow it down and talk about when a monster's doing this. This is going to happen. Like, the tells and whatnot. Because that's how I play this game. I go off tells. Which is why when I was playing the Umbrella, I was getting tilted. Because there were some things that were happening that were ruining my ability to tell the tells. If that makes any sense. And my little homie taking aggro has been very helpful. It's tired. Whenever it gets tired like this, it just re-instant engages or re-instant uh, enrages so in my case i'm trying to climb on it and i want to plant a spike which i've noticed some folks may have seen me plant spikes at the beginning of fights and i don't know if that's actually effective because it, when it enrages whenever it roars it seems like it just breaks the spike entirely like right there the pile driver thing is engaged you hear it you see it it's, it's doing big things and i'm pretty sure this hits me it doesn't. How many times is this kid going to do that move in my fight? It's taking me a year and a day to kill this thing. I put the umbrella. The difference with the umbrella is that you can kill this thing in like sub two minutes, but you're also going to fail a couple times. Usually. So cannon is just consistent because again, first try, 
Obviously, I kill it. Here, I'm committing. See that? Commitment. I committed. I could have dodged. I knew I could have dodged, but I was like, you know what? I keep doing this thing where if I just keep lasering, something good will happen. Good fortune will reach me. I could have made a chain trap, maybe. Nah, I could have. Not enough time. But as soon as, that, I, as soon as I place that wall, I go into a mortar strike knowing I have time. If that move hits me, I die. Just probably FY. Like, just for sure I die. I'm almost guaranteeing I die right there. I couldn't really see the monster that well, and I was, I was committed to an animation. Like, right here, it's trapped, and I have to really scurry along to try and beam it. Otherwise, I'll get no value. And by the way, let me know. I'm beaming the tail right here because I know if I break it, it'll do something like that. It'll, like, stop animation. That's one of the only things that can stop it from doing it's either in rage or doing that giant jump in the air thing. It's like breaking an actual part. And we get lucky right there. Like we wouldn't die to that, but it hurt us pretty bad. Gotta be careful. I could keep firing because you can cancel out of your basic attacks fast, but one track mine sometimes. It's better to just do one thing, which is be paying attention versus trying to min max and fire and stuff. I get hit here for sure. Yeah. And that's why you run resurrection boots. Oh my god, my voice. Ahem. And that... That is why you run resurrection boots. It's so you can make a mistake. With the umbrella, I can't run those boots, bro. I don't... See, <laughs> if it... If it would have killed me, it was so low, dude. What? It was so low, it almost killed me. Oh my goodness. So the hammer video is finished for tomorrow, yeah. I had to edit it down a lot. I didn't die. I got, I mean, maybe I did. I did get resurrected, so maybe I did die. I can't believe I didn't get the toss when I was wanting. Oh, maybe I did. That was 440. That's not terrible. That's, I mean, that's first try cannon after failing like seven times with the umbrella because I get hit once I die. Granted, with the Umbrella, I could do the same thing where I run Resurrect Boots. Or no, I can't. For the Umbrella, I can't do that. I lose so much damage. It's because the Cannon 1 trick came into the channel. Oh, is that right? The build I'm using in this video is the exact same one on my YouTube channel. But here's what it looks like. If you want better detail, if you want more talking about why I'm doing certain things, go to that video as described. And thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day or night. Peace. By the way, this game already has more content and it's getting even more on April 6th. So if you're not playing it, you should definitely give it a gander if your PC can run it. So all I got to say.